If I told you you could make a great living just working with local artists, would you believe me? I hope so, because you absolutely can. Success comes in all different shapes and sizes in the music industry. Today, I wanna to tell you a story. My studio is in a commercial building, which I share with several other producers. The guy across the hall that I work with, his name is Eric Labros. He owns a studio called Cherry Pit Studios. Eric works exclusively with local bands around the area and he makes a great living doing it. Just like me, Eric started recording bands in his basement right around the same time I started doing it. Even cooler is that he was located less than 10 miles away from me. I recorded a lot of metal, pop, EDM style stuff and he did a lot of rock bands. While we were competition at first, we never really crossed paths for bands because we specialized in different things. We both thrived for many years and continue to do so. Now we work together in the same building. Eric makes a great living working with artists and loves what he does. Eric has two major secrets that he uses to be successful, aside from being hardworking, being cool to work with, and being a great producer. Number one, he always makes the band's song better than what the band came in with. Eric's big thing is that he never really focused on being awesome at mixing or mastering. He got good enough at it to be as competitive as he needed to be to put out a quality product for the market. He really wasn't interested in competing with A-level mix guys like CLA. Eric knew what he naturally excelled at and that was producing songs. So he focused on becoming great at that. When a band comes in to work with Eric, they always come out with a song that was much better than what they came in with. This single thing alone makes Eric between 50 to 75K a year just by recording bands at $300 a song. He has always booked three to six months ahead. His bands love working with him and they almost always come back to him. Okay, so the number two key to Eric's success is he found another niche in licensing music and he crushes it. Not only is Eric making a great living recording bands and doing what he loves and he's great at it, but he also found a second niche a few years back that allowed him to make even more money. He found a licensing partnership with APM Music and started licensing his bands. Every band that he records, he submit, and many of them get picked up. Over the last five years, this has grown exponentially for him. He's got over 50 artists that he's worked with that have landed national TV spots on networks like Fox Sports, WWE, Monday Night Raw, and so many more. He's even landed commercials for brands like Hot Wheels with his artists. What's even cooler is that many of his bands are getting quarterly checks in the thousands of dollars on the songs that they've recorded over the years with Eric. Think about this for a second. Not only are his artists making their money back from the recordings they paid for, but they're landing all sorts of cool opportunities from this. I bet you didn't know that a ton of the music you hear on TV is actually a bunch of local Milwaukee, Wisconsin rock bands. Of course, this has been really profitable for Eric he makes a small percentage of money and the bands make a killing. I've watched Eric grow in this now for several years and I've seen him pull upwards of $30,000 extra a quarter doing this. Now think about that, imagine getting an extra 30K. It's pretty awesome. Let us now apply this to you. I've talked to you about this before, but it's important to know that you can make a great living off of just recording local bands. You don't need to shoot for the top of the pyramid. It took Eric and I both about three to five years of hard work before we started making respectable livings recording local artists. We both were able to support kids, have our own places, pay our bills, and have a business that we both loved. And there's two key takeaways from this. Takeaway number one, always create more value than you're worth for your clients and it will be returned to you in the end. Eric focused on making great songs with bands and ended up getting a ton of his artists licensed and making money from national TV. I focused on teaching bands how to build a brand and built those bands until they were able to get signed. The common denominator is that we both gave our hearts and souls to our artists and helped take them and their music careers up to the next level. It only took time and hard work before we were both making great money, doing what we loved, despite what the naysayers said about the music market. We thrived while the market supposedly crashed. I think that says something about our approaches and that it proves that you can have a high degree of success in what is considered a tough market. Takeaway number two, find niches to specialize in that you are the best at in your area. Specialization creates value. Eric focused on being a great writer and producer. This allowed him to get tons of bands on TV. I focused on mixing and mastering and helping getting my bands competitive with the radio. This allowed me to turn into a full-time mixing and mastering engineer. While we both recorded similar bands in the same geographic market, we both thrived and were successful at it. Rarely did we ever cross paths with each other. We both came a long way over the years. We both worked hard and stuck it out no matter how hard it was. 
Today, we're both doing great, loving our lives, and having a ton of fun doing what we do. If we can do it, you can do it. If you put in the work, great success can be had in a variety of different ways. All right, questions and actions, leave your answers in the comments below so we can learn from them as a community. Number one, what activities are you spending a lot of time on that distract you from your true talents? Number two, what do you truly and naturally excel at? Number three, make a commitment today to focus more on that talent and do less of other things.